everybody, and welcome to The Outside Line. I am your host, Brian Tmeyer, and today we are talking about the Daytona 500 champion, Michael McDowell. He had one win, the Daytona 500, of course, as you guys know. He had two top fives and five top tens in 2021. Last year was his best year. He had a great run in the Daytona 500 that got him the win, and he did pretty well. Uh, average start of 17.36, and an average finish about 20th. And can they repeat that? with this uh, higher horsepower higher horsepower package. I don't know. Because this win last year was so random, especially the first of the year, that, you know, it helped. It, like, it made me happy because it's someone different that won. Uh, you gotta look at it this way, that... If Michael McDowell can have success in front row, if, you know, this is a level playing field, I think Michael McDowell has a chance to be in the playoffs by points. I don't think that he's going to this year. I think it's a, you know, a, a, about an average year for front row. Again, I'm not saying that to try to be mean, but I'm saying that as a... You know, let's look at it now and just be like, you know, let's slow the slow things down and just be like, hey, let's look at this in general and just say, are they legit? I don't know because this higher horse pack, higher horsepower package, uh, could, you know, give them more top tens. You know, more at least top 15s, top 10s. Because they only had five last year. And one of them was his win. Uh, they're great at restrictor plates. Like a Daytona or a Talladega. I don't know if Atlanta's going to be any different. But uh, we'll have to see when that race comes around. But again, you know, I want to see Mike McDowell succeed. He's a, He just seems like such a good spirit. Same with Eric Emerald. Like I was saying yesterday, you have to like this guy you have to like Michael McDowell like even if you're not you know he's not your favorite driver you have to respect him like he doesn't say anything bad uh you know he comes off as just this genuine you know charismatic really good guy and I hope that he can win again sorry I'm very very stuffy today uh but other than that uh, I hope he does get a win. If he does get in uh, without a win, it would be probably the 16 spot on points. Probably barely beating out one or two people. Uh, but other than that, uh, that's it for me today. Uh, be back here tomorrow to talk about Austin Dillon. See you tomorrow, guys.